Welcome to Istanbul, Turkey for the 2019 Turkcell Platinum Bosphorus Cup. Dating back to 2002 when the first edition of the regatta was held, this year we celebrate the 18th edition of an event firmly established in the hearts of sailors all over the world. It was my idea 18 years ago in 2002 to host an international yacht race in Istanbul between Europe and Asia and boat sailing on the Bosphorus with big currents and big winds and it has been a successful journey and now Bosphorus Cup is one of the leading sailing events of the world with international sailors and inter international media taking part here and about 65 boats are racing competitively in two days and the winner gets the right to hold the perpetual trophy for one year and uh, Bosporus Cup is destined to continue and celebrate 20th edition in 2021. Sailing in Bosphorus is a unique experience as the canal connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara and sits between the two continents of Europe and Asia. The stunning backdrop of Istanbul's unique architecture only adds even more value to this extraordinary regatta. Istanbul has a long-standing tradition in sailing and the Bosphorus Cup has been the main attraction for numerous esteemed international sailors over the past 18 years. The consistent weather conditions, the high level of participation, the stunning location and also the historical significance of the city all add up to deliver an amazing event for both the sailors and spectators. As the JSK team, we've, uh, we always try to take part in lots of competitions that take place and it's not our first time with the Bosphorus Cup. Um, and it's really exciting for us because I think this is like one of the most exciting ones where you get to you know, go through the Bosphorus and there's a lot of teams joining. So uh, yeah, it's been really fun and we're very excited for today as well. Revered sailors such as Lionel Pian and Mike Sanderson have participated in the Bosphorus Cup, showcasing how this event has continued to grow throughout the years. For the 18th edition, we have six different categories with more than 50 boats and more than 400 sailors participating. During the two days of the competition, each category has its own point system and unique route. Bosphorus Cup is my fa favorite regatta. It's uh, one of the best regattas, uh, very spectacular in the channel, stop traffic and uh, uh, shift your weather, uh, streams, it's absolutely fantastic regatta. I am coming here maybe 10 times and I will make it every year. The local sailors are very familiar with the privileges of sailing in the Bosphorus Cup and so have renewed their entry year after year. However, there are many teams visiting Istanbul from other countries in order to participate. Let's see what led them into joining the Bosphorus Cup experience and what their expectations are. Hello, I'm uh, Nicolas Grou, the skipper and, uh, and Elsman uh, from MSC team. This is our first time here in Bosphorus Cup. Um, yesterday was the first day uh, of racing. Beautiful race, amazing place and a lot of uh, pleasure. During this regatta, we will witness two different sailing formats. Coastal races, as well as windward, leeward races. This way, the teams will have the opportunity to showcase their skills in multiple conditions. And the sailors will put their skill sets to the test across many aspects, such as tactics, coordination, navigation, speed, and maneuverability. We're very happy to be here. Um, our sailing school, the uh, Sailing Academy Corcaroli, was planning uh, to uh, come and participate in the Bosphorus Cup. Uh, it's been actually uh, one of the high, high, highlights for the season and uh, all my crew were, and myself included, were really looking forward to uh, coming here and uh, racing in this uh, wonderful event. I've been coming to Istanbul uh, sailing through the Bosphorus uh, for the last 30 years and uh, this is uh, to me 
Uh, Istanbul is one of, the, one of the most wonderful cities in the world. It's, uh, uh, it's not just the city, but it's the people. Uh, it's, the, uh, uh, it's the life of it. And, uh, and my people were really thrilled with, uh, uh, with the whole organization of the event, uh, the party afterwards, uh, and the actual uh, racing competition. It's, uh, it's amazing. Day one found the teams competing in the Bosphorus Canal, where all the boats lined up on the starting line for a spectacular race start. Shifting wind conditions made it very challenging for the sailors, and they had to show real skill and consistency in order to reach the finish line first. The spectacle was amazing. Watching more than 50 boats crossing the canal very close to the shore is a breathtaking experience. The following day saw the teams competing in inshore races. This format offers neck and neck battles as teams will need to perform very fast and accurate maneuvers in close proximity to one another. Precision and team coordination is key in order to achieve a good result. This regatta tests sailors in many ways and it takes a very well organized and highly drilled team to claim the win. Today uh, we win the race, of course we are super happy. It was a uh, light condition on the course. Uh, it was again difficult, uh, but at the end we got the first place again and uh, we win the regatta. We're happy. The organizing committee did an amazing job hosting this event. The Bosphorus Cup is not only about sailing, however, as it provides many social activities for participants and also spectators. The beautiful city of Istanbul provided the ideal backdrop for the VIP parties and the glorious prize-giving ceremony that took place in Sata Kalamis Marina. What better way to end this esteemed regatta? High performance sailboats, top level sailors and ideal weather conditions off the historical landmark of Istanbul, all contributing to its success. Everyone was left with smiles on their faces, anticipating the 19th edition of the Bosphorus Cup. See you again next year.